Hi everybody. I want to show you my 1977 Toyota. It's one of my collection of classic cars. And it marks the year that I started with hydroponics, 1977. And here's a plant that I've grown this year. It's just showing you the yield on one plant. And uh, along the way, I'll show you the root system. There they are. Now the roots are surrounded by a huge airspace. It's 100% humidity, so they don't dry out. And that's where the roots get their air. You don't need pumps, electricity, or medium. None of that. All you need is a tub, a lid, and a little piece of foam to wrap the stem with when you insert it into the hole in the lid. And then the roots go down into the nutrient liquid, which is all filled right up to the top originally. And uh, they continue to grow down into the liquid reservoir. And by the time they reach the bottom, the reservoir is just about empty and due to be refilled. And that takes seven weeks. So all you do is you set this up, go on vacation for seven weeks, come back, and you'll have 40, approximately, tomatoes. And at that point, you start adding a gallon of, of uh, solution or nutrient liquid every other day on average. It takes one gallon. And that's all you do. You never empty it out. You just keep adding. And you'll end up with a yield of approximately 10 pounds of tomatoes. Now I've used the same lid and tub for 25 years cost me an average of 50 cents a year. So that's the cost of apparatus, 50 cents a year. And the nutrient would cost somewhere between five and nine dollars per year, but you're going to get at least twenty dollars worth of tomatoes. And they're going to be more delicious than anything you can buy in any store. This is a Bush Early Girl variety, and it is by far the most delicious tomato ever known. So there it is, simplified, something that virtually everyone could do. Grammar schools could use it for a project, and children take it home for the summer. It could easily be billions of, toma <coughs> billions of pounds of tomatoes produced every year just in this country.